from the state of Washington. From the great state of Washington. Great state of Washington. Um, thanks everyone for being here with us today. This is an incredibly important issue to make sure we do everything possible to maintain an open internet. Um, you know, as someone who's worked in technology, my background is a businesswoman and entrepreneur. I've definitely seen firsthand how we've had an evolution in how we connect and do business and how that has completely transformed the way the world works and how critical the internet is now to everyday life. Um, in my district in Washington State, we have everything from farming communities to high technology hubs and they all will benefit from responsible and forward-looking net neutrality policies that will promote equal treatment of content and affordable access for consumers and for businesses. And while there may be vast disagreements on the best way to achieve this goal, I just wanna um, thank everyone for working towards this goal because it's an important goal. Um, you know, there have, we now see legislation um, and changes that have taken, or changes that have taken place in the way the internet works that really weren't anticipated when we put communications law in place. And I believe strongly as a technology person, we need to do a better job of keeping laws up to date with the way the world works. Um, clearly, we haven't quite done that. We have a regulatory framework that's quite old. And Chairman Wheeler, I wondered if you agree with that statement. And if you look at the framework that you're working with right now, <coughs> would you like to see changes there um, so that we could do the best job possible of putting together um, a great environment to support innovation in this area. Oh, well, thank you, Congresswoman, uh, and um, I, I agree. You know, this is, uh, uh, it's that, like that line in the, uh, through the looking glass, it takes all the running you can do to stay in the same place when you're talking about uh, all the changes in the internet. You know, it's interesting that the, the Communications Act itself, uh, the Congress was incredibly farsighted um, and in 1996 in particular when they put in flexibility to, uh, for decision-making to be made by the commission uh, along the way. Um, I think it is always worthwhile for Congress to involve itself in making sure that the statutes are up to date. Um, but uh, the flexibility that Congress has put in the statute uh, has also enabled us to try. But what we've tried to do is not to be proscriptive and say, we're smart, we know what's going to happen in the marketplace. We know what technology is, but rather to say, let's have a general yardstick that can be used to measure things that we've never thought about as they come along and the authority to do something if, in fact, they fall short of that yardstick. Um, now, I know there is a piece of legislation, a draft piece of legislation um, that uh, a Republican draft legislation that has been put together to, um, to, to actually put forward legislation on, on this issue. And the draft that I've looked at um, has some particular carve outs in it, one for specialized services, which seems to be loosely defined for, as I read it, and also a carve out that seems to allow paid prioritization of certain internet services where consumers specifically approve it. And I wondered if you had feedback, if you've had a chance to see some of this and if you had feedback on, on those carve outs and how you think those might impact competition in the market. Yes, thank you, Congresswoman. Um, and we've had a conversation with the sponsors um, of the bill um, expressing some concerns uh, about um, those uh, carve outs and about the limitation on the ability of the agency to deal with what I just talked about, which is how do you have that yardstick going forward? Mm -hmm. um, Commissioner McSweeney, um, by reclassifying broadband under Title II, the FCC gains the ability to govern privacy issues, and it might appear that some of, that the FTC in some cases loses some of this authority as well. And so I wondered if you'd comment on whether you agree that that's true or if that's an accurate assessment. and whether you see room for the FCC and the FCC to collaborate to protect consumer privacy under Title II. I absolutely see room for the FTC and FCC to collaborate on privacy. I think that would be very important. We already do work together um, and have had some recent examples of consumer protection cases where we have worked together very effectively. Um, as you point out, reclassification may have an impact on FTC jurisdiction. Um, this is why the, the legislative recommendation that I'm prepared to make today is repealing the common carrier exemption in the Federal Trade Commission Act. 
Um, I think that, as Chairman Wheeler has pointed out, um, it's wonderful when Congress takes the time to think about how to update the consumer protection laws. And um, from my perspective as an FTC commissioner, that would make a lot of sense. But again, we can work with the FCC. We do work with the FCC. And, and I think consumers' um, privacy is a priority for both the FTC and the FCC. Well, and privacy is an area that we've definitely seen um, legislation that's out of date, whether it's Electronic Communications Privacy Act, other areas that are legislation that were put in place decades ago that haven't been updated. Um, and do you have ideas on another, you think that we can do it this way versus another legislative solution with respect to privacy? Uh, well, um, there are several recommendations that have been put forward. The administration has put forward a privacy uh, legislation as well. All of these are really valuable contributions. Um, I would add that data security is a huge priority of mine personally as well. Um, and I would continue to support the um, passage of comprehensive data security legislation that would not only provide consumers with breach notification, but would lay out uh, stronger security standards. Thank you. Um, thank you, Mr. Chair. I yield back. Thank you. The Chair now